What's up everyone? I just wanted to do a quick little video here. I only got like uh, four beaver sets out in this uh, dam here. Uh, there's a little dam there going across the creek on, you can see it right there. But it, it's old and they're not maintaining it because up the creek they put a big dam in. But uh, this place has been trapped pretty hard by multiple trappers already and so that they're, they're caster shy and they're also definitely 330 shy they will not go near a 330 stick it in their run they they quit using the run but anyways just a little tip here when you run in the caster shy beaver uh so right there's my caster mound there's no trap there though I did have a trap there, and then this is what showed me they were caster shy. It's not that they're shy of the caster itself, it's they're now shy to come into your caster mound direct, directly on. You seen in my other videos, I cut a little channel, that way it keeps them in the water directly over the trap and coming up to the caster mound here. But they've had a previous experience of coming directly into the caster and getting whacked by a trap and if they got out of it then now you have your typical caster shy beaver so what started happening was uh it's all frosted and covered in snow now but there's one of their caster mounds there's another one over there started coming up and you can see everything's all mauled down here. Started coming up over here, marking its own turf. You can see the light colored, where it dug the mud off the edge of the bank and brought it up here and made its caster mound. But Pennsylvania, we've got to be 15 feet from that dam and that dam wraps right up to there. So I couldn't set, blind set, these caster mounds that he's coming up here every night and making. So what I did was I blocked that off with some sticks. I put them sticks there. And it got him to now start coming up here. There's one, like I said, it's all frosted over, but that, that was a fresh caster mound. And they put in and over there started putting some. So once I got them to start coming up here now and making a caster mound, you can see my traps right there. I blind set it. I didn't add no caster or nothing to it. But I do keep adding caster to this set with no trap. Seems kind of unorthodox, but it's a good way to pick up a caster shy beaver. Uh, it's just out there. I did, you can see like where the holes wallowed out in the middle of the creek there. I did pick up a young one. But there is one still constantly coming up and making caster mounds on the bank here. And it's probably one that has gotten away from a previous trapper's caster mound set or a set using caster. And like I said, I had some 330s and some runs and they are definitely shy of that. So that's just a little tip to, uh, they're avoiding coming directly to your caster mound give it a couple nights it can be frustrating but keep reluring that to tick them off to start making their own caster mounds and then blind set where they're making theirs but i couldn't blind set this one that they originally started making here because like i said in pennsylvania we gotta be 15 feet away from a dam or a hut and that's just that's really pushing it there i mean i stepped it off it's about at 15 of my feet length but it's just it's, it's not worth the risk whenever all i had to do was simply just wait another night block that one off wait another night and sure enough there's a fresh one here so i instantly grabbed that trap and blind set it right there and all i did was just add a subtle little stick there to guide them from coming up over there and a subtle stick there so that way it'll just come directly over top of the trap and now it's just a sit and wait game until he wants to remark this caster mound again. And also another thing, caster mounds, in my opinion, 
and just my experience, do better the further up the bank you get them. Uh, because if they stay in the water, sometimes you're getting snap traps, and that's probably from a belly drag or you know a, a swim and turn around because they're still in the water. The in my experience, the best way a caster mount works is you want them to literally try to leave that water to come up and maul down that caster mount you made. So if you just stuck a stick of caster right there at the water's edge, they could come up and just maul around there or just come up sniff and spin around while still in the water. Be really need a couple inches of water to stay afloat still without putting their feet down ever. Because you can see their caster mounds, they do the same thing. They don't they don't mud them up against the edge there. They they come up and it's it's how they're marking territory and getting the scent away from the water's edge and dispersed out across and into the air and that. But no catch here tonight it did drop temperatures drop we're getting snow it's like 20 degrees right now it was 45 yesterday but i figured i'd just share that little tip with you thanks for watching